Yeah, toy break. Oh my god, I'm so glad to be here. Woo, toys. Let's review some right now. And on that note, <laughs> welcome to toy break. Let's do some news, reviews, blues, clues, horseshoes, and cow poos. Oh, welcome There's, to episode 37. Is that our slogan? Um, I think the, so. The oh, good, we're on 38. The good mood episode. Woo! <laughs> oh. Uh, who are you? I'm George. I'm Aileen. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't blow your wad in the beginning. I we suddenly need ran out of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> so we would like to start with a reminder that we are running the Jaws contest right now. Head over to the contest section on our form, toybreak.com. Click form. You'll find it. Uh, post a picture of yourself with the classic toy fangs. Or any fangs. Who cares? Any fangs? Sure. All right. The deadline is June 4th, and, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever with the fangs means to you, in your mouth, not in your mouth, whatever. Uh-oh. Some kind of mouthpiece. Does it have to be in your mouth? What about... Could it be on your head? Could be what on about your like shelf, an elephant tusk in my butt? Yeah, that's fine, too. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Actually, please put that up. Is that similar? <laughs> that works. No. But we would also like to thank... A couple people for some donations. We forgot to mention Crack It last week. We really appreciate the donation you sent along with the gifts. So thank you very much for that. And we would also like to thank Daryl for his generous donation. Daryl from Ohio. <laughs> All thanks, right. guys. In the spirit, In the spirit of thanks, we would like to thank our sponsors. PanicsToyBox.com FuzzyBallsApparel.com 3DocTretro.com 3D Retro. Huh? Now Here Limited. That's nowhere. D dot com. Dot com. And, of course, VinylFallout.com. So thank you very much to them. Go to our site, click on their links, check out their wares. They have a lot of good stuff. Wares. Wares. We also have a Toy Break question that was emailed to us from Justin. He asked, what tools do you guys use to keep your collections organized? Do you keep a notebook of your collection notes? or use a computer program like Microsoft Excel or maybe a website like stashmatic.com. What about want lists? Do you guys keep track of those? Good question, I think. Anybody who cares that much about their toys should just be put down. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I think <laughs> like a lot of people care about their verbally toys. Verbally <laughs> and then like an animal. <laughs> like so how would you like to put down Justin then? You are, you are dumb <laughs> and then he should be shot. Um... I disagree, but I don't know. I never really kept track of my toys. I just kind of remember. I hope that I remember. Keep track of them. I would like to disagree I with you he, on that point. Well, I mean, I do have pictures of some things, but... How about your muscle men? I have them in a, in a folder. You with, have a list, don't you? No. Of what you need in your wallet with you at all times? I have... No, I do have pictures of, like, the eight that I'm missing. So, yes, I do keep that. I guess I keep track of that. It's not... But it's just to it's put on the list. forum, only because we have a forum to put it on. I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I have seen the wallet list. I, I will I open my wallet list. right now, and you find it in here. Where is this? You call, you bought most of them. Where is this wallet list? It, it was like three exist. or four years ago. I you had a wallet. Cast list. off toys I... like a leper with dandruff. <laughs> Shed toys everywhere I go. <laughs> just Can't shake keep them off. Track of them. Keep um, track. I don't really keep track of toys, but if I need to for some reason, I generally take pictures of the collections. And since I usually have a camera with me, that's a good way to say, oh, do I have that one at home? And I can look at the camera real quick. I don't always remember I to do that. I think he's asking because, like, when he went to college or maybe he... some. I remember somebody said this because mm -hmm. they went to college and they couldn't remember all the stuff they had at home. So he's wondering what's a good way to remember so you don't rebuy something mm -hmm. by accident. Like, if you have a certain amount of dunnies or whatever um personally i would say pictures because it's easy to keep on your computer it doesn't take up any space and I've probably not that toy it. didn't make enough of an impact on you that you don't remember it then you shouldn't have bought it in the first place <laughs> i i there's also sites like what was that one you mentioned stash matic stash matic there's also a site called squirrel.com which is oh, a yeah. place to show off collections of things like that um i did 
start a squirrel account, but I really only put it up there to show off Matt's dollar store collection of funny dollar store the toys. The dollar store toys that I collected and then and then dumped dumped on dumped me into gar- garbage bags. It was three enormous garbage bags three full five of gallon store trash toys. bags full of toys. I didn't photograph all of them, just some, but. Uh, that's up on Squirrel. Maybe I'll put up some more collections on Squirrel. Who knows? Since I already have the account there. I think a lot of people keep collection photos on Flickr, too. Yeah. That's the only collecting like my toys do is the dust on them. <laughs> dust on toys. Um, as, no for wa- organization. as for want lists, I generally either just bookmark the sites that I want and then go back to them later to buy the toy or admire the toy. Or uh, The only time I really make a want list is at Comic-Con. Then I just make it out on paper and... Go to the forum. Dash around Comic Con. Tell us how you keep track of your collection. Yeah, what do you guys do? I know some people are uh, Excel fans. Wolf Child, I see you making your Excel spreadsheets. That's crazy talk. <laughs> no, actually, Wolf Child makes a great Excel spreadsheet every year for Comic Con over at the Kid Robot Forum. You can find it. And she gets all the exclusives together so that you have a nice spreadsheet. So that's a useful tool sure. in organizing. News? News. Go ahead. Why me? I'll start. It's the X Games figure by Tristan Eaton of Thunderdog Studios with ESPN. Six inches tall, limited edition. Limited edition. There we go again. Reimagining of the (laughs) Ultimate X Games athlete. Again. Really? Is that a reimagining of what an X Games athlete looks like? A reimagining. A small, bullet shaped, chubby thing? Yeah. Is that what they look like? Geometrical expression. That's that's a pretty good example of what all X Games athletes look like. Stupid. Uh, just in time for the X Game 14 in Los Angeles. They retail for around 50 bucks, and right now they're available at 3DRetro.com. Woo! So go there and get some. I actually like this thing, but not because it's a representative of an X Games athlete. It's That's not the dumbest thing to say. It's, On no. its own? They, they imagined yeah. it the way it looks like, and then they reimagined it looking completely different <laughs> with just a logo on its face. And then they called it limited edition. <laughs> it's not going to be infinitely made no eternity. limited huh. not forever in the world you know what else will be limited chibo everything in the world <laughs> exclusive to planet earth oh, chibo no. by chi kit kwang there will be 50 characters and 10 secret characters in this set of figures the first five characters will be coming out this july followed by five new characters every two months thereafter price is still to be determined but watch for them at your favorite toy retailers Soon, next month. No, Chiquit two months. I think I will. I like saying that. <laughs> Say it again. Chiquit Kwong. <laughs> House of Liu. Liu? Liu. Liu. I'm going to go with Liu. <laughs> Shaolin Monks by Veggie Something and Crazy Label. Two new additions to the House of Liu family include <laughs> the six-inch Shaolin Monks, which will come in two editions. The Elder Disciple, Grey Edition, limited to 100 pieces. That's a limited edition. Limited edition. <laughs> and The Student, Orange Edition, limited to 700 pieces. Available in July. CrazyLabel.com. <laughs> Check out The Watchmen Toys by DC Direct. Nope. Six and three quarter inch action figures. Night Owl, Ozymandias, Rorschach, and Silk Spectre are available for pre-order now for about $55 will be available in January of next year. Pre-order now? Well, it's freaking May. <laughs> well, I know they're at pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store, and you can order stuff early there. So. Oh, okay. It's going to be such a hot commodity. There's also a one six scale Dr. Manhattan figure that will be unveiled at San Diego Comic-Con this year and sell for about $100. From dccomics.com slash dcdirect. No, dot com. Dot com. <laughs> no, dot com. <laughs> dccomics.com slash dcdirect. When does this movie come out? Next year? Next year. It's a little way too early to be talking about this. I am interested to... I want to say something. (laughs) I am interested to see the Dr. Manhattan figure at Comic-Con because as anybody who read Watchmen knows, Dr. Manhattan is supposed to be naked all the time. But they have him in a suit, which he's only in a suit for like one TV appearance in the comic. But we'll see. We'll see if he is anatomically correct. Let's put it out this year for toys that come out next year. (laughs) Actually, these toys, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, order. something else for Comic Con. Hey, Comic Con Metal Ocalypse action figures by Shocker Toys. These are the Comic Con exclusive set. It will feature fully painted action figures of Death Clock, of course, the band from Adult Swim's Metal Ocalypse. The figures will be five and a half inches tall, and it will come with all five band members. Plus, for anybody who watches the show, this is funny banana stickers. 
The set is $85. You can pre-order your set now at shockertoys.com. Do you think it will actually come out, or is this like every other Shocker Toys announcement and doesn't actually get made? Don't they usually not have pre-order unless it's going to be made? Do you think it's also going to actually be action figures, or will it be a dumb statue like they did at New York Comic Con, where they said it was an action figure, but then it wasn't? I think it will be action figures. So right now I'm giving a thumbs down until I see it in person. It has 1,600 points of moving it on your tabletop. (laughs) (laughs) So I'll believe it when I see it, because it's from Mm ShockerToys.com. But banana stickers! I'll buy it if it's a Comic-Con. You can Not giving them pre-order sticker. money because they don't ever release anything. Okay. Speaking of releasing stuff, I have some news about a release I'd like to tell you guys about. <laughs> can you tell us? I'd like to know. Well, here it goes. Sit right back and I'll tell you a tale of an exclusive 8-inch key by Frank Kozik and Toy 2R. These two 8-inch Frank Kozik keys will be Toy 2R San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, each limited to 100 pieces at toy 2 rcom C O M. <laughs> they look very similar to pieces that have already come out in three inch versions. Okay. I think. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> I could be mistaken, but I think they're not new designs. Why don't you wipe your tears with that big smelly beard of yours? I think I will. <laughs> smelly isn't smells good. It smells like Beardsley beard shampoo. Phew. Which coincidentally smells like the docks. <laughs> the docks. <laughs> Are we on the blind box, guys? We are on the blind box. I love those things. I'm too fat to move. These ones are shiny. (laughs) Can I throw them? Why don't you hunker down behind your beard? (laughs) Look at the shine on these puppies. So these are the Kid Robot Adult Swim Series 1. These were from 3DRetro.com. You can pick these up. They have these available there. 3DRetro.com. So who would you want if you were to open this and get one that you wanted? I want Assy McGee or Dr. Girlfriend. Ignat and Gur or Carl? Ignat. 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 I want Carl. Who cares about any of the other ones? That's it? Just or Carl? the Deathlock. You want Carl. Deathlock, guys. Would you take Toki Wartooth or do you want Murderface? I'll take, I want Murderface more, but yeah. I'll take either of them. But I want Carl. I got robot chicken. Feels little. How come the opening tab is on the upside? What? Woo! Oh, I got a squid, Billy. <laughs> Who is this? Call me Billy. I got. What the heck's this guy's name? Oh, that's that dude. Oral? <laughs> He's freaking, oral. Yeah, Moral Oral. But is that the variant Moral Oral? Oh, yeah. It must be. He's all drugged out. Look at him. He's smoking crap. Holy He's got cow. fucking eyes. That guy's kind of cool. It smells yeah. like somebody's been spray painting. That moral oral is actually kind of fun. Because he's all cracked out. <laughs> oh, he actually does have a little pipe. Oops, I broke my robot chicken. Nothing. Check him out. He's got I mean, a crack pipe. That's great. awesome. I broke it. So that must be one of the special ones. Because he's not on the package. Yes. Let's see this guy. I got early. With his booty hunter hat. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> I got this broken robot chicken. What broke? That foot. Oh, foot. what the hell? Paint, not so great. Wow. Kind of slapped on there in most places. The script is painted nice because there's not much to paint, I guess. So. At least it it's better right. than uh, children's toys. <laughs> it's making a children's cartoon toy. The robot chicken's at least articulated, which is kind of funny. This uh, squid billy has paint scraping off on his face. I'll trade you. This guy's it? awesome. Oh, right there. I thought that was a little uh, goatee. Was I wrong? I don't know. It's I don't think he has off. a goatee. Oh. Oh, well, then the paint sucks on these. This cracked out homo is pretty funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one, I think, in the set. His yeah, hat looks cool. like a hot dog on a stick hat. So is your hat. Dude, he's totally taking fucking one hit. Look at him. Uh, pipe. That's so good. These are extremely average, but if you like, if you're a fan of Adult Swim, Adult Swim go I check guess it out. these are for you. If my you're a fan of anything, you'll like whatever's made on it. That's true. My problem so, uh, is check out so check out you're anything of. you're a fan of, and it'll be good. My problem is I like about half of Adult Swim, so half I've, of these toys, I'm like meh. I've never seen any of Adult Swim. Really? You've never even seen um, Aqua Teen Hunger Force? That comes on way past my bedtime. I have it on DVD if you would like to. I've seen parts to of it, it on YouTube. 
Like or Metalocalypse. Banana that rapes people. I've never seen that show either. That's a good show. It's funny. I usually go to sleep right about now. <laughs> are, you <dead? laughs> are you dead? Yeah, these are... I'm just going to stare at them for the rest of the show. Completely average toys. But fun shiny box. Ooh. Did you say butt fun? But fun. <laughs> I might have said butt fun. It might have happened. So hmm. in... Honor of the Indiana Jones movie that is just that has just come out. I believe they say it has dropped. I do not, not say movies, that. They don't yeah, say that. It, I do no. not say drop. That. They don't the say Indiana that Jones movie that just released. released. It was dropped. And released. It was pretty good. Pretty good Indiana Jones movie. But we would like to go over some Indiana Jones toys for you, starting with the. Let's go over them. Indiana Jones Adventure Heroes from Hasbro. These are the little deformed guys that kind of go along with the uh, Galactic Heroes from Star Wars and uh, whatever they call the superhero versions. And they're about to make JJ ones. They are. Mm-hmm. Which should be interesting. <laughs> so <laughs> why does he have a spider on his back? Because it happened. Because in the movie, when he turns around, there's a oh. giant. Why is he tick? Tickling his nipple with that whip. <laughs> that I don't know. So these are from Raiders of the Lost Ark, because it's series one, and they're coming out with That's more from the rest of the movies. These are packed the same way as all the others, two per set, and the first series has six sets, so 12 figures, and then there's a mail-away figure with Indy and the Horse, which we are still waiting to get. And they're about five ninety nine each, same price as all the others. If you want to check out your own, Hasbro.com. I love these guys. I think they're awesome. Mm. Not really sure about that skeleton. But the coolest... <laughs> this ridiculous snake. The coolest is the Ark. This awesome little Ark. And why is it the coolest? Because... Well, he takes his top off and... Oh my god, there's the spirit of the Ark. He's going to destroy you. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> Surprise! Your face Hello, will everybody! <laughs> god sent me to hurt you. <laughs> He's awesome! awesome. So these are cool. Get these things. They're fun. If you like Indian, you like the little. Paint's pretty ones. awful. This is awful. No, this is awesome. I don't remember there being a scene where a mummy jumped out with a gay snake. I think that I don't understand the mummy lover snake. I think it's supposed to be like the mummies that are wrapped it's in the, the snake one that chamber like, falls that falls down. Fall ah, out of it. But he does not. For some reason, he's all. Comes out dancing with a super, hey! super happy gay snake. <laughs> yeah. That looks vaguely like a penis. Yeah. Let's, not sure why they decided the, to go uh, with that. Pretty exciting stuff. I like them. Mm, not really. But we also have some of the three and three quarter inch action figures from Hasbro. And we have some of the old ones from about 20 years ago to compare them to. So let's, let's, let's see what's happened fast. in 20 years in let's, toys. Where is the regular indie down there? What do you want? Regular indie. And then pull out regular indie. Well, you have the other indie. We don't have actual regular indie. We have, uh, well, he's regular, regular indie. indie. He's indie in his robe because he's about to go his burka. learn where the Ark is in the Well of Souls. So as far as articulation, <laughs> there's a few more points of articulation on these. Yes. Same three and three quarter size like Star Wars figures. Um, I think the detail has gotten a little <laughs> better on the, on the outfits, crisper. but the heads are about the same quality. Yeah. Here, I let's think give the old a, a ones are actually of the better, because the new one has weird fetal alcohol syndrome I don't know eyeballs. If you can see these, but <laughs> we should oh. take a picture and just put it in. Ooh, we will. I just wanted to show. Awful. Yeah, it's. Let me see the old face. It's no. It's pretty much. That the, let me see the Indian in the hat over there. <laughs> Sorry, he's busy with this. <laughs> he's this busy man. having sex with that guy. <laughs> I don't know. I think that the sculpting has not improved in the faces yeah. on these guys. <laughs> it's. I mean, how long was this? 15, 20 years ago? Yeah, that's like more 20 than that. years, more probably. Than 20 years. That's it's closing in on 30 years since the movie came out. The bodies and articulation Gosh, have yes. improved. Heads? No. <laughs> not not at all. No. But look at the old articulation. Like you were pointing out where he could, it's, They made it so that they can like sit the on horses he, and things like that. Yeah. And because they didn't have the articulation of today where you can actually move things around, they make them just like do this like squat open thing where it's kind of weird. Although the horse does that. There's a button. Press the button. It's got oh. the same movement as Pokey does in the old Gumby. 
That's pretty he's, funny. He's got show. <laughs> spanking it out. That's, <laughs> that's handshake. So action. the guy that he fights by the plane has like spring punch action. <laughs> I don't know. I think the sculpting's gotten a little better on that guy. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Look at my giant hand. <laughs> so now he's <laughs> missing a finger. <laughs> yeah. That's Why great. are his hands in this like claw pose he's in this old one? Pinch Indy's nipples. That's and this a... awesome butt. <laughs> this little bikini G string butt. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Um I do know. They're not I don't know. They're not that much better <laughs> than the old days. No, they really have not Although, gotten all that better. Let's talk about these guys. They um The Cairo Swordsman. The Cairo Swordsman. He's gotten better. He's definitely improved. <laughs> yeah. they, uh, well, I mean, first well, of all... Well, first let's look at what's under the robe. Puffy bathrobe. What's under his robe? Same exact thing as that. So, under the robe. The Except this guy has a little bit darker skin tone. Cairo panties. Yeah. Shh. Back then, they weren't allowed to He's got like a little package. ...ethnic action figures. It was against the law. <laughs> now they're allowed to go full bore. Oh. This guy has a bigger package, so use your old toys if you're interested in that. How's his know. sword? The, his sword's bigger. The sword's bigger on this guy. The face is actually a little bit... <laughs> better. <laughs> uh, I guess it's better, but only because it's a nondescript dude who you don't even not supposed <laughs> to recognize, so it doesn't really matter if it looks like anybody. But when it comes look to looking like feet, Indiana they're... Jones, should it look, shouldn't it look like the guy? Harrison no. Ford, yeah. I yeah, think so. I mean... He's used an old Han Solo head they had laying around. Here's my biggest thing, though. The old ones came with the awesome little cloth. The real cloth, like Jawas. Which is great, but... 20 years later when you have to clean it off <laughs> not so great dust. this one has like the sculpting Plastic, cloth looks better. a lot better this one definitely looks a lot better although also cleaning off toys from 20 years ago that I've probably had out on display they have probably leached a little and they've gotten a tiny bit sticky with the dust that has settled on them yeah so and they also the new series also has the guy with the monkey oh, for monkey. some reason and the monkey in the old set is a lot different than the new monkey. But the they're monkey friends. Is, uh, is vaguely they're racist. They're actually Where's pretty Miriam? similar oh. in sculpt quality. I love the, the laundry basket. I also have. With the abused woman in it. <laughs> abused woman in the basket. That's awesome. She Did doesn't even like her? scale. She doesn't even fit. She's like a child's eye. She's just turned into a little lump. Yeah, it's she's actually, kind of a lump. That's actually pretty awesome. She looks she, like she's posing for one of those eighties portraits. We had um I But had, somehow that that looks better than the Marion that's out now. Well I had the Marion that's in the wedding dress, but she somehow when I was a kid became a Christmas ornament, so she's packed hmm. away with the Christmas ornaments and she goes on the tree every year. So I don't have her with me. The new figures also come with small crates, like blind box basically, inside each package. Those There's a little tiny cool. crate. Do you like an artifact? That when you cut mm -hmm. it open, That's inside is an artifact, top secret army oh. artifact, which if you watch the new movie, you'll see. I don't want to give it away, but they go and find some crates. So <laughs> these are some of the crates. I think they saw it on the commercial. <laughs> and this is some of the stuff. But that's cool. There. I like that it comes with these little... I think these are cute for like... Especially I imagine... if you're playing and you get all the figures and you're playing, you can set these all up like he's going into the thing to oh, find yeah. all the crates and everything. Spoiler alert. There's crates. <laughs> wooden, I am, wooden crates. I imagine that this is the stuff that would be like sitting around Indiana Jones's office. But the cool thing that these toys do, both the small um, action hero, adventure heroes, and these three and three quarter, they come with a little booklet where you can put some stamps, and if you get six stamps, you can mail away for a figure. It's the same thing with the little one. If you get six of them, you put your stamps on, and you mail this back to Hasbro and mail away for your figure. I love... <laughs> mail away stuff i think that's so cool so i like it i'm glad did they're doing a mail away yes we did did we also <laughs> we didn't open this one yet but we also bought old indiana jones from the new <laughs> movie <laughs> oh it's a crystal skeleton for the three and three quarter Shh. spoiler alert it's called the Crystal Skull. They know it's in there. They don't know there's a skeleton. They, they don't know the toy. that E.T. the extraterrestrial flies a fighter pilot in the background of the end scene. But the cool thing about the old set, look at how much cooler this mummy is than the new mummy. <laughs> like this one's actually scary <laughs> looking. If I was a kid, I'd be frightened of that thing. Are you scared of this one? Comes with the whole I'm arc scene of it now. with the golden arc. I think well, and they the pieces have... to carry it. I mean, this old set is awesome. Yeah, that one you gotta stick through the sides. Yeah, this thing's neato. You can carry your arc. No ghosts to come out and eat you, though. 
You so this is awesome. Thanks. I always put this guy behind the door and then he goes. Except the door goes out the other oh, way. Oh, it goes this way? Yeah. Damn it. God, you always do. why are you so stupid? <sighs> okay. It's not it's fun. But they have play sets out too. They're just not quite that big. No, this play set's enormous. <laughs> and it has this gigantic cart. That's the cart that Marion. Huge. For it's some reason, it away it, it on. this giant cart. Is this? Are you sure this cart came with it? it wasn't like a dollar store thing back then. <laughs> Pretty sure. That's for when Indiana oh, Jones real. has Kenner. to move. See? Oh, it's funny. It's Kenner back then. Oh yeah. Good time. This is back when it was still that Kenner. So Kenner, yeah, I'm Kenner. happy that they don't have cloth on them, so that I don't have to see them get all dingy and dirty. But sculpting not terribly, terribly improved. Yeah. Twenty years later, not improved. Just kind of go. Fun. Oh, and I want to show off this Marcus Brody. He. I'm not really sure why he has such a fat that neck. That could be anybody from any early 80s movie. 26 years ago. This is from 82. So, oh. Man, I'm old. That's a long time ago. Maybe it's the same guy sculpting it. That's probably why probably. they're not better. Look at his front pouch. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's where he keeps his Joey. It's disgusting. It looks like a giant diaper tucked in. <laughs> but at least you could put him on a horse for some reason. Are you sure this isn't the $6 million man? That could be that anybody. That could be Belloc. I, I think 80s. it's supposed to be Marcus Brody, but it could also be Belloc. I'm not really 100% sure which one he is. All right. So well, that's enough in the end. Right. So get the new figures then, rather than trying to hunt down the old ones because... It's not worth it. Overall, they're just... It's easier. Unless you already have them. But hey, it's cool because like they're remaking them. But this, skeleton, this mummy is way cool. Remaking all of them. So in summary... Get what Indiana you like. Jones. <laughs> but it's cool that they're remaking a whole bunch of these figures Dumb. from the old movies. <laughs> we also have Loki. Do, 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 do. We do? No. This is Mookie. He is made by John Schiller. He is one of the little nine cast of characters created by John Schiller, of course. This is the 8-inch plush version. You can pick him up for $9.99. There's also a 17-inch plush version for $29.99. And he is really, really cute. I picked this guy up at Rotofuji in Chicago. Very cool. And uh, I would highly suggest looking at the characters. And you can check him out at johnschillerdesign.com. Dot com. I don't know. I just I fell in love with this guy. I was like, oh my god, he's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? He's, um... Don't care? No? Maybe? I don't... Nah. That's all you. Look at his little face! I'm looking. I think I will. Hmm, yeah, that's a face. But he also has a comic book out now based on these guys, so if you're interested, go check him out. What kind of events we got coming up? Moving oh, on. events, huh? What? We have several events, like Nanasaru. It's a one-day-only kaiju pop-up store from Super 7 and Monkey King. It will be at Monkey pop-up King store. on Melrose in Los Angeles, California on May 31st from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. You can check out monkeyking.com for directions and info and all that stuff. Kind of interested in that. What's a pop-up store? Just it's only going to be up. there for seven hours. It just jumps out of the bushes and mugs you. Boo! I'm a store! Stuffs a toy okay. into your pocket. But if you're interested in new or old kaiju, they're supposed to Not have a lot interested. of cool stuff. Also coming, Raiders of the Lost Art. It's a group show featuring original art pieces, vinyl and plush, by dozens of artists including... Suckadelic, Plastic God, Placebo, Nice Bunny, and many more at Capsule in Los Angeles, California from May 31st to June 30th. Also, Sideshow Collectibles is sponsoring an auction with the proceeds going to benefit the Down Syndrome Association of LA. So check out Capsule.net. Hmm. Welcome to the Retropolis. (laughs) Dr. A solo show featuring original paintings as well as a few custom plus a limited edition print of rivet gallery in columbus oh there's no periods in there sorry i had to take a deep breath and run through it original paintings as well as a few customs plus a limited edition print that's what i said rivet gallery in columbus ohio from june 7th to june 30th columbus oh from june 7th to june 30th (laughs) you can check out rivetart.com that should be interesting it's very cool to art it should right. be. <laughs> well, I think it's cool to see Dr. A's paintings, not just his customs, which he does great customs, but he also has fantastic paintings. Also coming up, where 
Madness Reigns, The Art of Gris Grimly, book release signing. That's coming up Saturday, June 7th at 7 p.m. at Halloween Town in Burbank, California. You can go check the show notes for the link. It's <laughs> a good idea. I think I will do that. Oh, will you now? And where can you check the show notes? Toybreak.com. You can see past episodes, join the contest, go to our forum, all links through toybreak.com. That you can. You can also call and leave us a voicemail on the Toybreak voicemail line at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can ask us questions, leave us feedback, whatever you like. Hmm. I think I'll do that. <laughs> also, email us at info at toybreak.com. Send us your ideas, questions, upcoming events, and toy releases. I'm also taking a poll right now. We're kind of just doing a thing on the forum, seeing where everybody gets their shelves that they put stuff up, because we had some people write in and ask uh, what kind of shelving we use or where do we get our shelving. So we're starting a thread on there about, you know, what kind of shelving you buy and where you get it. So if you'd like to participate, go to the forum and... Participate. Participate. (laughs) I like to keep my toys on other people's shelves. I've noticed. That is true. Can you take your toys off my shelf, please? No. No. Those are your toys. (laughs) I gave them to you. (laughs) And as always, remember to support us by subscribing to iTunes, leaving us feedback in iTunes. Check out our toy briefs on youtube.com slash toybreak and also on iTunes. And that's about it. That wraps up episode 37. Yay! Woo! The most fun episode ever! Hooray! So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Hooray! <laughs> Let's talk toy. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> that's All right. good. I'm glad that's over with. That was good. Yeah, me too for some reason. Yeah! Yeah. Yeesh. <laughs>